So there are some myths associated with electronic cigarette use. E-cigarettes, they are not associated with any harms. This is the myth. But the fact is they are not harmless because the vapors, they contain formaldehyde, tobacco-specific nitrosamines, nicotine, and maybe heavy metals. Uh, they elevate the heart rate, elect, uh, elevated diastolic blood pressure is there, and respiratory symptoms. They are very common with the use of electronic cigarettes. And uh, they are also linked with use, uh, linked the use with the cell death, reduced lung function, stiffness of the arteries, and increased risk of the cardiovascular disease and the metabolic syndrome, etc. Next, please. The second myth is that e cigarettes they are 95% less harmful. This is a very big myth with, the, with many of the youngsters and, and the kids. Despite the authors of the study, the, this was published in 2014. Uh, uh, despite the authors of the paper noting that they lacked hard evidence to support the 95% static, uh, statistic, it continues to be published and used in defense of the electronic cigarette more than seven years later. E-cigarette products, they are available today. They are vastly different than what they were available maybe five, six years ago. And when this paper was uh, 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 published, maybe... Uh, this was nine years ago. So most of the researchers who attended the meeting where the statistic was created were supporters of the electronic cigarette and some were funded by an organization with links to the tobacco industry. We simply cannot trust the words of the people with the vested interest. Next, please. The third myth is that e-cigarettes can help people quit smoking tobacco cigarettes. So this is a very make, uh, big myth. And the fact is that and this myth is uh, present even in the uh, our own colleagues, even psychiatrists. Some of them, they promote electronic cigarette use. There is evidence to suggest that this significantly increases the smokers' urge to smoke tobacco cigarettes. And these may be associated with cigarette smoking relapse. Dual uses is there. Dual uses is that when the, the person has got money, they buy electronic cigarettes because they are uh, expensive. And when they don't have money, they buy... Uh, those tobacco cigarettes. So these may serve to compromise quit attempts. There is an in inconclusive evidence of the efficacy as quit smoking aids. Finally, any product that is considered therapeutic must be approved as such by the FDA or in India by DCGI. We must not be persuaded by anecdotal reports of individuals quitting smoking with the aid of electronic cigarettes. To date, the assessment indicates that electronic uh, uh, cigarette use contributes to more population level harms than benefits. So next, please. The fourth myth is that kids or adolescents who use electronic cigarettes, they don't smoke. So this is a big um, myth. And the fact is that the use acts as a gateway to tobacco smoking. Electronic cigarette use is linked to tobacco cigarette use among adolescents and young adults who have actually never smoked. Those who use electronic cigarettes and then take up smoking were always going to smoke, but they just happened to start using electronic cigarettes first. These claims, like much of those made by the electronic cigarette advocates, have been already debunked. Next, please. The fifth myth is that the electronic cigarette industry do not market to children and non-smokers. I may tell you that uh, though India has got a very, very comprehensive uh, act against electronic cigarettes, I told you that PICA 2019, but still, the unscrupulous uh, industry, the e-cigarette industry, the, the electronic uh, uh, cigarette industry. Okay. So the electronic uh, cigarette industry is uh, promoting electronic cigarettes and uh, it is ensuring that it is made available on e-commerce sites and uh, the social media. So there are new youth-oriented e-liquid flavors, and uh, you'll be surprised to know that now at present there may be more than 22,000 flavors available for the e-cigarettes, like bubble gum, popcorn, Red Bull, fruit uh, loops, unicorn milk. The industry also uses appealing e-liquid e-liquid packaging, cartoons on labels or e-liquid boxes that resemble fruit juice cartons, and they develop e-cigarettes that resemble USB devices, asthma inhalers, pens remote controls, and hoodie door strings, thus promoting uh, e-cigarette use. Next, please. 
so these are some of the devices uh, on my recent visit to thailand i uh, found these pods these are called as toy pods which are available though thailand has got a very comprehensive uh, act against electronic cigarettes by uh, as in india but still these products were available online on social media and mm. somebody assured me that these can be made available within 5 6 hours if i uh, order them next please so this is another uh, picture of the toy pods next please so the uh, sixth myth is that smoke free world is the aim of promoting the e cigarette use by the industry but the leaked internal strategy documents from one of the biggest tobacco companies in the world pmi uh, that is uh, philip morris international suggest otherwise these documents state that to ensure its corporate survival into the future pmi needs to achieve two primary objectives shape public opinion and play the political game as part of this guide the e cigarette use tobacco industries hijack behavioral science by funding independent research and burying conflicts of interest at the end of uh, a report or article so uh, some of you might be knowing that now there's a foundation for the smoke free world actually this is being promoted by the philip morris international actually they want to promote iqs which is heated not uh, burnt tobacco or heated tobacco products uh, e cigarettes they are bar, uh, the early start. yeah e cigarettes they are part of the big tobacco's product diversification strategy to deliver new and upcoming nicotine delivery devices especially those that have maximum appeal to the young people next please.